What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Dave Cave. I, as always, am Dave. It is 2019, plus eight days. I'm a little bit late to this game, so I apologize for that. But today, we're going to just talk 2019, a little bit of 2018, because there's still some unfinished business there. But we're talking 2019, movies I'm looking forward to. There's a lot of them. I'll try to be brief. And then some of the changes I'm going to be making to the channel. Not really changes, additions, so to speak. Before we get into 2019, like I said, we're going to talk a little bit 2018. So 2018 came and went. And I, in 2018, had recorded a review slash rant of House of a Thousand Corpses. Because I hadn't watched that since I think I saw it in theaters. And I bought it. I'm like, oh, this movie was awesome. But didn't really know how much I actually liked it. Recently rewatched it, have a completely different respect for it, but a general same kind of feeling I did then. So be on the lookout for that review. Something else that I have to do is watch Bird Box. Everybody and their mother and their grandmother and their sister and their niece has seen Bird Box. And many, many people have come up to me and said, Dave, you seen Bird Box? You seen Bird Box? Have you seen Bird Box? No, I haven't seen Bird Box. Plan on watching that this week, because just everybody's talking about it, so there's got to be something to it. And what I just watched a few days ago was Terrifier. I'm going to be getting a review together for that, because that movie was just all kinds of crazy. And I want to get my ideas out to you guys as soon as possible for that. And another thing I want to do from 2018 is watch the trailer for Prodigy. I saw a little bit of the trailer the very end of it, uh, when I went to go see Overlord, but I never got around to watching it. It was one of those ones that kind of slipped under my radar while I was sick. Same thing with the Curse of La Llorona trailer that I did a couple weeks ago, last week. Um, so we're going to be doing that. So now, moving on to 2019. Holy crap, 2019 is stacked, and I love it. Uh, the only thing we really got coming this month that I'm excited for is Glass. I just can't wait to see all three of these characters together. James McAvoy's Kevin is just one of my favorite characters in recent cinema. So I'm very excited to see what they do with that. I know the concentration will be on Glass, but he's in it, and it seems like they're going to explore him a little bit more, a little bit more of the psyche to it. So looking forward to that. Moving on to February, we have... Alita Battle Angel, which looks awesome. Definitely going to be going to see that. Prodigy, and also Happy Death Day 2. I never saw the first one, so I feel like I should probably watch the first one. I have a feeling it's probably not a sequel that has much to do with the first one. From what I've gathered, it's kind of a Groundhog Day thing, but it's always good to see the first before you see the second. So that's my plans for February. Moving on to March... We have Captain Marvel and Us. Definitely going to see both of those movies. Uh, Captain Marvel because it looks good and you can't miss a Marvel movie. You just can't. I don't miss a Marvel movie. I love the Marvel movies a lot. Us looks crazy. Um, I'm, I'm sure a lot of people that is on the top of their list for 2019 is for sure on the top of my list for 2019. Not on the top. It is for sure up there, though. It's, whew, I saw that trailer, and I had trouble sleeping that night. I don't care what you think about that. That movie scared the shit out of me. Or that trailer, sorry, scared the shit out of me. That moves us on to April. And April, holy crap, has a lot. You got Shazam and Pet Cemetery, and then Hellboy, <clears throat> and then The Curse of La Llorona, and <laughs> ending it with Avengers Endgame. That is my number one movie that I am looking forward to in 2019. Moving on to May, we get a little bit of a break from Endgame, and we move on to a mix of my two favorite genres, superheroes and horror, with Brightburn. Very much looking forward to this. This movie looks crazy. Crazy, crazy. Very much. Want to see this movie. A lot. And then, we get Godzilla, which, if you guys watch my trailer reaction... I can't wait for this one. This one, like I said, there's a lot of movies I'm really excited for in 2019. This is one of them. I cannot wait to see him throw ass at all these guys and 
see how it links into King Kong. I, that can't be. And then we move on to June, which has Dark Phoenix at the beginning, but I'm not all that excited for it. Um, it'll probably wrap up the Days of Future Past cast, um, or First Class cast, I should say. And then really the one I'm looking forward to in June is Child's Play. I know, I know that Toy Story is also coming out, but Child's Play is really the one I'm looking forward to. If only to see what the hell they're going to do with it this time, because it, yeah, it could be, could go either way. It really could. And leading up to that, I plan on watching the whole series again, because there's a lot of these movies I haven't seen in over a decade. Uh, so I'd like to go back, watch all of them, review those for you, cap that off with a ranking, and then go see the new one. Should be an interesting ride. Moving on, moving on to July, I know there's an Annabelle movie coming out. Or at least I read that there's an Annabelle movie coming out. For me, those have been pretty forgettable, so I'm not really all that hyped about it. Spider-Man is the one that I'm looking forward to in July. Really excited to see that, see where they go with it, and see how they reconcile where Spider-Man's at. I'm sure, obviously, we'll have a better idea after Endgame's here, but very curious for that. So, I was looking at August, and there doesn't really seem to be anything coming out in August. I don't know how that is. But there doesn't seem to be. If there's something I'm missing, and you guys know of something, please hit the comments below and let me know. Because I would love for there to be a movie that I can go see and be excited for every month this year. It'd be great. So, let me know. And if not, damn, that sucks. Then, we move on to September. And really, all I care about in September is It, Chapter 2. Very much looking forward to that. I enjoyed the first one. I'm going to do a review, review, rewatch, look at that again, and let you guys really know my thoughts on it and get some new eyes on it, because I haven't seen it since I saw it in the theaters. Uh, but I'm very much looking forward to the new one. Wish they had done a little bit more unknown cast, but we'll see what happens. Moving on to October, we have Joker and Zombieland 2. Um, and I also came across, uh, when I was looking this up, it was in firstshowings.net, I went there for a little comprehensive list of what's coming up in 2019 because I really wanted to make sure I knew what was coming. Uh, it has listed an untitled Blumhouse movie for October 18th. Um, and for those of you that noticed that date, that's when Halloween came out this last year. So I don't know if something is trying to fly under the radar or... If there's something that is obviously known and I am just missing out, just like maybe with August, let me know. Hit the comments below. Is Do you guys know of anything that's coming out on October 18th? Because, again, I would love for there to be something fitting that slot. Now, with November, all I saw that I care about in November is Kingsman 3. Uh, I don't think anything really has been confirmed on it yet, though, uh, but I would would love to see Kingsman 3, because I very much enjoyed 1 and 2. They were crazy and fun and bonkers and off the wall, and I've had a lot of fun with them. So, Kingsman 3 is definitely my November pick. And then, you finish out the year with December, which, as of now, has the Jumanji sequel that Danny DeVito just got added to, which, all that's news to me. I didn't even know we were getting a sequel to Jumanji, but I like the last one enough, so I'm in. And then... <sighs> Very intentional sigh. We end the year with Star Wars Episode Nine. Uh, I wish I was more excited for this movie, but I'm not. Uh, maybe when we get closer, I'll go more into why. Uh, but as it stands right now, I kind of like the prequels more than I'm liking this uh, new trilogy. Probably going to catch a lot of flack for that, but it's, I've been not impressed, unfortunately. The trailers have been good. The trailers have been good. That's all it's really gotten going for me. Now, I know we don't have a release date yet, at least that I've seen. Again, if you guys know something I don't, please let me know in the comments below, because I want to know about this one. But Three from Hell is coming sometime next year, uh, and I would very much like to see that, because I enjoyed The Devil's Rejects, and I plan on rewatching that one before going to see Three from Hell. And like I said, I just did that review rant for House of a Thousand Corpses, I gotta finish up and get that to you guys. So be on the lookout for that, and then once I have an update for Three from Hell, I'll get my review for 
the Devil's Rejects done accordingly. So that just about wraps up the calendar for 2019, at least for now. Other things may pop up on the radar as the year goes on, uh, but as of right now, those are the movies that you can plan to see from me, uh, because I plan on seeing all those. <laughs> 2019 looks really, really good. As for the channel, uh, a couple things we're going to be adding. First of which is what I'm going to call Rewatch Wednesdays, where I go back, watch a movie that I have in my library behind me, and do a review on it, basically to give you guys a sense of my tastes. Because uh, they sometimes vary movie to movie. Sometimes I really like something one, did mo one movie did well, and didn't like it so much in another movie. Those will just be give you an idea of what Dave likes. Uh, those will be the first Wednesday of each month. Uh, obviously, we missed one this month because we're eight days in. Uh, so next month, or next month, sorry, next week, I will be having one of those. I've yet to decide the movie, but I have a pretty good feeling of which one it's going to be. So stay tuned for that. The other thing we're going to be doing on the channel here is just at the end of the each video, I'm going to do what I call random recommendation of the day. It's going to be anything. It could be drink more water. It could be, hey, I just tried this new pop, had this new energy drink, had this new candy, or this is a candy that I've loved forever. Or it could be, hey, this is, you know, the show that I found out about. Anything. It can be anything. And if you have a suggestion for something you would like me to check out to possibly be a recommendation at the end of one of my videos, let me know. I'll check it out. And if I recommend it, I'll recommend it. Uh, for my first random recommendation of 2019, Haribo Gummy Twin Snakes. They look like this. They're delicious. I love them. They're right now at the top of my candy list of when I get candy for whatever movies. I like candy more than I like popcorn. These are a go-to. I love them. Go try them. So, if you are as excited about the Dave Cave in 2019 as I am, please don't forget to hit that like, hit the subscribe, because as you just saw, we got a whole hell of a lot coming. Thank you so much for stopping by the Dave Cave and continuing to stop by the Dave Cave. Take care.